Hi! So sometimes I get stuck in what I like to call the birthday song dilemma. And the birthday song dilemma happens when just say the birthday person's name is Helen, but Helen is also these people's mother. And then you think, birthday to you. Wait a minute. We didn't decide if we were going to sing Helen or if we were going to sing Mum. Oh God. Okay, well she's their mum, so I'm going to sing Mum. Happy birthday to dear Helen. Happy birthday to you. Hip hip hooray! Hip hip hooray! It's embarrassing for you, Nat. Get your own mum. Yeah, it's the pits. Serve me right for trying to fit in. Usually I just do the acceptable thing, where everyone just kind of goes mm -hmm, in place of somebody's name. Happy birthday to dear Rebecca. And why is it that the birthday song is such a big deal? You could be out in a restaurant and somebody else in the restaurant is celebrating their birthday, but you stop your conversation, join in. It's like a compulsory anthem, which got me thinking, how many situations could you stop with happy birthday? If any of you move, I will shoot you. I will not hesitate. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. You said you were going to lunch. Wait a minute. What name should I sing? Oh, this is so embarrassing. And you know what's interesting? How do we all know how we're going to sing and fit that name into that gap? Like you could sing it a whole bunch of different ways, but everyone does it the same way. And there's no pre-match consultation. It's like we're born with this instinct. Any name, no matter how many syllables, humans can fit into that gap. Birthday, dear Ben. Day, dear Rachel. Day, dear Rebecca. Day, dear Penelope. Birthday, dear Alexandria. And I can keep going, player. You know, there's no confusion about how you would sing a name in Happy Birthday. It's like the most useless basic instinct ever. You want me to show you which way is north? No chance. But if you have a ten syllable name, I can sing that in Happy Birthday for you. Easy. Yeah. I'm useless. Anyway, let me know in the comments below, how do you deal with the birthday song dilemma? Do you go name? Do you sometimes brave nickname? Do you go relation or do you the I kind of just opt for the now. It's very attraction. But yeah, let me know in the comments below. And speaking of comments, thank you for your comments in my last video, which was about when your friends tell you they look like celebrities, but only from a certain side angle or that they only share one feature in common. Speaking of, I posted this picture of me dressed up as Walter White for Halloween on my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And I got this great comment on my Facebook page that said I looked like him, but only that small spot on my cheek. Yeah, you were referencing. I like what you did there. Nice. Anyway, let me know in the comments below, how do you deal with the birthday song dilemma? Don't forget to subscribe for new videos. And I will try and put out a new video at the end of this week to make up for the lack of one last week. And a big good luck, by the way. I'm sorry I didn't say it last time to all the year 12 students who watch me. I hope you guys are doing well. Don't stress out too much in your exams. Just remember, worst comes to worst, you could end up like me. I know that's terrible. No, good luck with your exams. For everyone else, I hope you guys are well and I'll see you soon. Bye. Okay, it's Pony Music slash comment time and I am so excited because Mark and Carleen, I think I have found a match for the two of you. Mark, you've been told you look like Shrek and Carleen, you've been told you look like Fiona Shrek. I'm sensing some magic here. And Schmozzarella, your friend Sophie sounds awesome. I'm not sure it quite works that way, but I'll give it a shot.